Hi Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this pretty card. Um, to make this card I used this stamp set All That You Are and all I used was this flower image and the happy birthday sentiment. I also used the dies uh, which go with the stamp set Wonderful Romanced. I used the sentiment die and I use this leaf die which I've already cut out that's why I'm putting them back that's there and I have a pile of leaves here that I've cut out and I've cut out some tiny ones this was out of a free stamp set or die set with a magazine so I thought I'd use them I cut three of them out and I cut some little real red leaves out as well just go through your die stash any stash any dies and cut them out but the leaves are here I cut two in mossy meadow and two in pear pizzazz You also need a circle for the sentiment. I use the smallest stitch circle for this. I have cut two in case I stamp a mistake. The reason these are already cut out is because I cannot lift the um, big shot up today because my back's killing me. For the cards you need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. A piece of whisper white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the inside, which I'm trying to get out. A piece of whisper white at five and a quarter by three and a half for the front. Did I put that? Oh no, that's for the inside. That goes to this front. Um, a piece of whisper of white at one and a half wide by five and what did I say this was? Five and a quarter? No? Yeah, five and a quarter. That will go on like that. Like that might need trimming it does we'll get to that a piece of mossy meadow at four and one eighths by two and five eighths a piece of designer series paper this is from frosted florals and this is two and a half by four inches I'll go on there and then two strips at half an inch each of Pear Pizzazz and Mossy Meadow and I've just angled the edges right you also need a scrap for the flowers so we'll get that and we'll get one of our circles and we'll just stamp our flowers and we need two of these And you've guessed it, we're going to be fussy cutting them. There is actually dies to go, not to go with this set, but with another set. I can't remember the name of them and I don't have the catalogue with me to have a look. But in the spring occasional catalogue, on the first plate, inside the first page I think this stamp set is, um, and at the bottom there is a little bit of small writing and it actually tells you the dies that would go with this flower right take the happy birthday make sure it's straight and my circle 
Let's see if I can get this in the middle. Oh, that's good enough. <coughs> Ideally, you'd stamp that and then um, die cut it. Drink of my tea. It's my third video, so that's why I'm a bit dry. But I'll leave that to dry for now and we'll get sticking some of this down. Right, take that out. Like this. We'll work on this one for now. Right, first of all, we need to stick this one, the paper, onto the mossy meadow. Leaving a very thin border all the way around. Gonna go on there like that evenly. Right, I'm gonna have to stick this on. We want to put this in the middle and leave equal bits hanging over. Right, now this will get stuck on there, but first, I forgot to say, got some of this old olive baker's twine. We're going to wrap around that twice. Right, to give something for the baker's twine to sit, stick to, I just put some roller tape on the back. And keep that for another time. That's all I done. Just wrapped it round, and then we'll stick some glue on that. Remember, I said it needed trimming. So I just put that to the left straight. Oh, I'm not going to be able to trim that. Because of the baker's twine, but I can... That's it. Now this... will go on the card. not our face and you just place it in the middle of your card Oops. 
Right. Uh, we've got to trim that down. That's it. Right, we're going to place this here, but before we do that, don't need them, we're going to glue these leaves on here. So one's going to go up here. I'm not sticking as many leaves on as I stuck on the other one. One's going to come down here. side. I have an old olive that side. No, a uh, mossy meadow should I say that side. And that is actually going to go on the top like that once we get the flowers on. And these will go under the flowers. These red pieces. I'm just going to stick them Like that. No, maybe not. I just want a bit of red sticking out because that's what colour we're going to do the flowers. But we'll see, let's put these leaves on. Right, I just stick a bit of glue on each petal, stick them down. Make sure you glue the right side because these leaves are actually embossed. So if that's going there, this needs to go here. And this needs to go there. They're going to go on the flowers right. These I'm going to stick like that there. So I should put a thin line of glue on there and stick that to that. And then glue these down. Without dropping them. That will go there and they'll just stick out either side. Is what I want. Right, the birthday obviously is going to go here, and the flowers will go up there. So let's sort the flowers out. These are quite easy to do. So all I did was went round the top. Just brought them down a little bit. Bottom. Same on the other one. And 
but they don't have to be the same because the flowers aren't the same in real life. I'll tell you what I never got out was um daffodil delight. So I've got that one. Crush curry, but it will do. It's only for the centerpieces. And then we'll sit them, cut them out. already said when you hand fussy cutting move your paper rather than your scissors obviously you've got to move your scissors to cut but rather than move your scissors around corners just move your paper As one I'm nearly there. That's it. That's two. <coughs> On this one, I want dimensionals. scraps. Use these scraps up. So take the backings off. And we'll place that this down first and stick the leaf down the part of it on the circle and then 
this flower with a part of it in the circle and this flower like that straighten up a bit that's it and these little ones I'm just going to pop I'm going to pop them under the flowers themselves just so there's a bit of greenery that side I was going to add some red wasn't I them shorter. Yeah, just to pop a bit of colour there. And I'm going to put this leaf there. That's good. And another one. Make it shorter and I'll pop a bit of red under here. Yeah, I like that. Oh, um, I didn't do anything on the inside, so. I like the red. I think it might have been too bright. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, that's my card. <clears throat> Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more on my cards please subscribe and press the notification bell button next to it and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday Wednesday and Friday all I can say is thank you for visiting and I hope to see you again soon bye